How different did it feel out there tonight with uh, you know, getting another performance in the defense? Oh, yeah, it felt great. You know, like I, I hit on last week, you know, we, we, we've been so close and kind of see it pay off. It's, it's just we need to build off this now. It's, it's a great feeling, but we just got to keep keep stacking those days and keep building. Does this game act as like a confidence booster at all after what you've seen in the last couple of weeks? For sure. I mean, this is, we, we needed this, and, you know, you know, we need to see some evidence of our hard work paying off. But we, like I just said, we need to build off this. You know, it is, it is a great thing that we played well and did our jobs out there tonight, but we just need to build off this, you know, and quickly. What was it like in that first quarter when the offense started struggling? What kind of thing do you guys get the safety and stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's that's you know, being a defensive player, that's how, you know, I know that's how we want it. You know, we want the, the game in the defensive hands, but we, we knew that the offense was going to pick it up. That offense is way too, way too electric not to pick it up, so we knew we weren't worried at all. Out there in a game like tonight, when you come off of, you know, not as great performance last week. Did you, were there goals you guys had in mind? You're trying to get turnovers? Was it, what, what we we, we, we got to finish it and finish the game. You know, everything, it's funny, it's, we talk about finishing so much, you know. It's like I'm drinking a Gatorade. It's like this much left during the league. It's like I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, I got to finish that. I got to finish it. It's just, it's just something we've been just hammering because you look at the past past few games, the fourth quarter, we, we've struggled. And, uh, just just to be down the stretch to be a championship team, we're gonna, we got to close out games the right way. What do you see from Tuli? Um, dude's a monster. I mean, I, he's, he's one of the best players I've ever played with. Dude is an absolute freak. And we need some. We need some. We need some more great things out of him. We'll get him. What kind of leader is he? Oh, he, he's a great leader. You know, he, he he's a very humble guy. You know, doesn't like to be in the spotlight. But you know, in in our in our locker room in Walden, I mean, very. You know, alpha type dude, just a beast. You know, something you want as a leader. Just, just the way he leads by example, and just you know, when he talks, you know, you, everyone listens. He's got a commanding kind of voice to him, commanding, you know, and and he's got the respect from from how he works. He works, I mean, harder than you know. He works hard, so he, he's got that respect. With all the injuries that have been happening and people kind of coming back and feeling their own pain. How do you feel like the guys who have been waiting their turn kind of stepped up? Yeah, I think, I mean, I think they're doing great. I think, and I hit on a few weeks ago, I think we got a bunch of dogs on our team. And, you know, I think, I think on the offense, you saw with receivers and on defense, you see it in the kind of secondary and up front. I think we're deeper than people, you know, originally thought, which, you know, it's not surprising to us. We got dogs all over the place. And it's really exciting to see guys getting their uh, opportunity and making the most of it. What have you heard about the UCLA rivalry? What do you know about that? Uh, it's, it's a big deal. I'm excited. I'm excited. You know, I'm, I'm just excited to be a part of it. What's important to Yeah, just just don't let don't let the emotions play with you. You know, just just do your job. You know, day in day out. Just just it's, it's a big deal. You know, they, you know, but just you got a job to do. I got a job to do. You know, we we got a job to do. We just gotta. Operator job with precision, you know. What did you see on that Caleb Bullock? I mean, the dude, the dude's one of the rangiest kids I've ever seen. I mean, the dude is a freak beast. Uh, love playing next to him, you know. He, he gives me confidence playing next to him. Just, just seeing him make a great break, a uh, great read on the ball, and just did his thing like he always does. When did you first see that Caleb? Is that something that jumps out when you watch him make one play, or is that kind of going on? Yeah, what's that? Can you repeat it again? When does that jump out? Is that like the first time you see him on the field, or is it after? With Kalen? Yeah. I mean, I I kind of when I came here on my visit in the spring, I, I've seen him in spring practice. Like I, I I've seen him play in the past, and um, I already knew what kind of kid he was. And then just kind of doing DB drills with him in the off season. I mean, that dude is smooth as smooth gets. You know, I've seen. He kind of reminds me of. Uh, you know, Chris Olave from my, you know, I know Chris is a receiver, but just the smoothness about him, you don't see it very often. I mean, it's it's very fun to watch and very fun to play with. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.